In the last few days, Tim Bray, a well-known senior engineer and vice president of Amazon, publicly quit in dismay because the mega monopoly owned by Jeff Bezos was firing whistleblowers who were making noise about warehouse employees frightened of COVID-19. He also called the company, and I quote, chicken shit for firing and insulting workers. Tim Bray, you did the right thing. We want to take things just one step further. Well, actually, a few really big steps forward. Amazon should be completely removed from the clutches of its super billionaire owner, Jeff Bezos. It should become public property and it should be managed as a public utility. And Bezos will scream, Amazon belongs to me. You're talking about theft. You socialists are thieves and you want to steal my private property. But we believe that private property is theft and the thieves are actually the owners of capital as private property, meaning the privately owned means of production and distribution, as in the case of Amazon. They personally take all the profits from their enterprises, which are run on the basis of social, collective labor of workers. The production and distribution of goods is entirely socialized, but the ownership is still private. And that's the source of one of the most galling injustices in modern society. One class of people is the vast majority and does all the work as a highly integrated social collective, but the owning class, the capitalists, who are a minuscule minority, have all the decision-making power and reap all the profits. The capitalists get to fire workers while making billions from the workers who are still employed. And this is the opposite of what democracy should look like. While Amazon workers are risking their very lives for meager paychecks in horrific conditions during the coronavirus pandemic, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos has made $24 billion. That's right, in four months, the work of hundreds of thousands of workers has made him $24 billion. Why is Bezos able to personally make tens of billions of dollars profiting off the backs of shipment packers, forklift operators, delivery drivers, and other low-paid Amazon workers? Amazon uses the latest technology, which is of course also created by workers, to provide services cheaper and quicker than we were able to before. Amazon is so centralized and its surveillance data collection is so sophisticated that the company knows what you need and want before you need it. It has warehouses all over the country, making shipping time much shorter. It's essentially the logistics of a planned economy, which is a socialist concept. The problem with Amazon isn't the technology and efficiency. The problem is the contradiction of using society's technological advances and workers' labor to funnel billions of dollars to one man. Amazon actually functions as a form of planned economy within one giant monopoly corporation, driven by a vast social collective labor force. It is a fully socialized concept, except when it comes to ownership. If Amazon, which is powered by workers in technology and in day-to-day -day logistics, was made into public property, it would be for the benefit of all of us. It should be a public utility without profit accruing to a small handful of billionaires. Transforming Amazon into a publicly owned utility would yield great benefits for society. If we routed that 24 billion that just went to Jeff Bezos in just four months, and the rest of excess profits into better salaries, good working conditions, healthcare, housing, education, then the lives of working people, the ones who do all the work, could be vastly improved. And actually, if society expropriated the biggest banks and other capitalist monopolies, society would have all the necessary resources to fund free healthcare services, including medicine, free colleges, free quality childcare, and to rebuild an economy that is sustainable and no longer reliant on fossil fuels. Again, the capitalists will say that taking their property and making it public and under the ownership of the people would constitute a crime and a theft of their property. But all private property owning ruling classes have always made the same argument. The slave owners of this country also argued that those who did all the work and generated their profits were in fact their property and that freeing enslaved people was a form of theft but they were the thieves. Now it's time to take the next steps in freeing society from the tyranny of capitalist private property. Billionaire capitalists shouldn't have the right to decide which workers work and which are unemployed. A job should be a legal, constitutional right. Under socialism, everything would be owned by us, controlled by us, and to the benefit of us, the workers. And that's why we need a revolution in this country, to take corporations like Amazon into the hands of the workers. Thinking about socialism is good. Thinking and talking about socialism is better. And building a socialist party is the best of all. Go to pslweb.org join to learn more.